So I'm here on a beautiful day in Wellington, Florida. And the reason why I'm making this video is because I want to show you guys how easy it is to set up a saltwater tank. So I'm, gonna, I'm doing a service, I'm on a job right now, and I'm going to go inside, I'm going to show you guys a really, really simple uh, setup that this customer has. And I want to share with you because I don't want you guys to be intimidated to do a saltwater aquarium. And it doesn't have to be super expensive, it can be really, really simple. So let's go ahead and, and go inside and check out his system. So here's a 40 gallon tank. Very simple setup. Just your standard 40 gallon breeder. It's been up for about five, six months now. It's doing pretty well. We have a hang on the back filter. It's a Seachem uh, Tidal filter, which are, I highly recommend these. Awesome. You have this little chamber right here and you can pull it out and you know, you can put uh, uh, bio balls, GFO, carbon, whatever uh, media that you need. Um, like I said, I highly recommend the Seachem filters. Um, but that's all the only filtration on this tank is just that hang on the back filter. I and mean, you can, you don't have to get the Seachem title filter. There's other filters out there, Fluval. Uh, you know, there's a bunch of different filters that you can have, uh, that will work just as well. And then we just have a little power head here on the right side. And then a little power head on the left side also that get from Amazon for like, you know, anywhere from 10 to 25 bucks. And that's it. That's the only filtration that we have on this tank. Um, it's had fish in it for quite some time. We have a, a pair of clowns right there. And then the male is up in the corner. There is a fire fish in here. There's also two cleaner shrimp that are hiding somewhere. There's an arrow crab that's sitting on top of this power head. So we have coral in this tank. So you can see some zoas right there. Uh, we just started putting corals in this tank. It's, um, some more zoas on the substrate right there. I just put some pieces of Hollywood Stunner Chalice Coral in here. Uh, there's another one over there. And we're at the point now where we can just start putting coral in this tank. The water checks out good. It's at that five month, six month period. There you can see there's no algae in the tank. The water tests fine. Um, so next time I'm here, I'm going to start really loading this up with coral. We're going to put some hammer coral, some frog spawn, different types of things. Um, now, this is a simple setup. Now, the most expensive thing about this tank would be the light. This is a little uh, AI Prime light. They're about $200. Um, and then, you know, if you get the, the, the neck with it, also like the little stand, the little holder, that's probably another 25 bucks or something. So like 220 bucks or something like that for this light. Now, we're starting off with one. Eventually, we're going to get two, um, one on either side, just to get more spread throughout the tank. Um, but it's working fine right now. We're gonna load this up with corals, but it's a really, really easy setup. As far as filtration, you don't need all that fancy stuff. This will work if you just keep it simple. There's a cleaner shrimp. There's another one back there. If you keep the corals that you <clears throat> put in this tank really, really simple, some mushrooms, zoas, um, whatever you fill your corals, acans, you could probably get away with it with this setup. Um, do regular water changes, make sure you monitor your water Make sure your levels aren't, you know, too high or fluctuating too much. Um, you know, keep an eye on your, your, your main four, your calcium, your alkalinity, your um, nitrates and phosphates. But there's no doubt that you can do a really simple setup like this and be successful. And this is proof of that. I'm going to continue to show you updates on this tank um, as we put coral in it and as we add more fish to it. Just to kind of show you that your main filtration in this tank are these rocks and it's going to be the coral. So, yes, this plays a role far as putting carbon and other uh, media in here, but we're really going to depend on the rock and the coral for our filtration in this tank. You can see the substrate super clean, crazy clean, no algae buildup anywhere, um, hardly any algae on the glass. Um, it's hit that five, six month period and it's looking really, really healthy. So you don't have to spend a lot. I think this whole setup was, I mean, 40 gallon breeders, you know, 50, 60 bucks or something. Sometimes you can get them for 40 bucks for a uh, dollar a gallon. And then that Fluval title was like probably another 50 or something like that. And then with the lights, it was about, you know, 225 bucks. So not a crazy amount of money to have a saltwater tank and it's really easy, low maintenance, not a big deal. So I just wanted to share that with you guys today. Um, saltwater doesn't, you know, doesn't have to be hard. It doesn't have to be overly complicated. It doesn't, you know, it doesn't have to be super expensive. There's ways of doing this hobby, um, you know, that are relatively simple. 
now when you go into a fish store they like to sell you all this crazy stuff because that's their you know it's a business they're trying to sell you stuff I'm not saying that you don't need a lot of that stuff but a lot of times it's unnecessary just for a beginner so some doing something like this tank that he's got going on here is nice because you you make your mistakes on a tank like this and then you grow from there and then invest the money um, on you know the more expensive equipment or the, or the more expensive tank but I just wanted to show you guys how how simple it can be with that thank you guys so much again for watching and stay tuned because I will have updates on this tank next time I'm here which will be in about two weeks I'm, I'm putting some coral in the tank I'm gonna really try to you know deck this thing out and make it look nice and put some more fish in here as well so stay tuned